Is it on? Yep. Hey guys. Hi guys. Today we're gonna go to the Nether. Let's see if we can survive. And also, don't forget to su subscribe. Please subscribe. That will help a lot. Put on my food. That will help a lot if you subscribe. But a lot. Don't forget to subscribe. Please don't forget to subscribe. Okay. Okay, don't forget to subscribe. The battle. Yeah. Comment to please and like subscribe. Made it very clear that they are here to stay. But the past years, there's definitely been a celebration of plump lips oh, yeah, too, yeah. right? Yeah. And there are several ways to achieve this look. We are faking it till we make it with a little help from the ombre trend. And Lauren's got the hookup. Yeah. Take a look. One of the hottest trends right now is the ombre lip. And I'm going to show you guys how to master that trick. And P.S. It actually makes your lips look full of... Sorry. For this is a little white concealer. You can get it anywhere. Or if you don't have white concealer available, a white makeup pencil. You can find these anywhere. A pinkish long stay or long wear lipstick. And a beautiful gloss okay. to blend it all together. First, you're going to take your white concealer and put it in your cupid's bow. Now, if you can't find your cupid's bow, it's pretty much right what under your nose, just like this. Oh, that's okay. to be quiet. So, make guess. Like that. Let me guess. Is that a hust? So with your pinky or even a little makeup Let me guess. It's a hust. Is make a little sort of line with the white. You'll see what I'm about to tell you. Right in the middle. So like this. What you're really doing is just huh? highlighting the biggest, most voluptuous Skeleton horses? You're going to look like a fool or a geisha. But listen, we're going to blend it all together. It'll look great. Oh, I thought so that was... I'm going to go back in Kill and fill it in with my... Huh? Okay. Now take your darker stain and fill the rest of the lip that doesn't have the white on it. Huh? Oh, this is me Now that this is complete, you want to do the most important part. That's blending it all together. Watch this. Huh. At this point, I look like a Barbie doll. Watch the gloss pull it all together. Oh, whoa, Flossa. Oh, whoa, well, I wonder what happened down there. Oh, it's scary. Let's go back. I mean, no, I don't want to go back because it's battle from the okay, nether. Before we begin the lip liner, the lip color, I love taking a little bit of a shimmer highlight that maybe you all have at home and usually pop it on the top of your cheek, which you should. It's great. Is this but a cream? A, a, a powder. Oh, powder. Okay. Oh, and hmm. then you take a little fan brush. And I'm actually just going to kind of like hit the top of her lip like there. What the? No. When you do anything that will reflect the light, it'll make it look bigger, right? And so what I want to do is bump up the top lip and have that kind of like puffer up and make it look a little bigger. So there you go to, to prep that. And then 
autumn lip, but she has such voluptuous lips anyway. But for those who want a face like a little pucker at the bottom lip, then you could take any kind of darker powder, a bronzer, a flat firm eyeshadow brush, yeah, which you probably all have at home. And then the trick is to create that shadow underneath. But you already have that natural shadow from a full lower lip. But if you don't, so right here. Oh, right here. Yeah, right here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Under the hold on, hold on. I gotta, I gotta blend it up. Okay, look. Nice. Look, there you go. Okay, so you highlight, you contour the lip, and now we're gonna create the shape that we want with the lip liner. And I love to take any kind of neutral, warm lip liner, and you have a lot of pigment on your lip anyway, so I'm gonna take more of the peach color. And don't be afraid to, to get in there and, and go for it. I'm actually gonna begin right in the center of the lip, you guys, because with the trick, you want to fill in the whole lip with your lip liner. Let me ask you this too, because I've heard a lot of people say that you should overline your lips. Are you going to yeah. you go outside and yeah. have a mm -hmm. leash? I'm not afraid of that. Like okay. Because I always look like a mouse. Right? Well, with the yeah. neutral lip, pe uh, lip liner, you have more control and you it's more forgiving. I mean, sorry, I'm all in it. Now in your face. Like, no, like, tell me everything. <laughs> but you guys, um, you know, we're all asymmetrical in nature. Mm -hmm. And usually people have maybe a little bit of a crooked smile, which Do I you know that that is my biggest mm -hmm. insecurity. I have a completely crooked smile, and this is something I've actually never shared before. I'm really? totally if you're, and if you see pictures of me, I'm always from the side. You have a big smile, so you can't tell. Yeah. yeah. But hey, you can cheat at symmetry with your lip liner. And so you, you really do fake it till you make it. Don't treat someone else's daughter that way. What about the situation there with Adrian and Derek and Angela? Because well, we got the result, but she's not a prostitute. No, never she's been, not a will. prostitute. And I hope that you well, learned a lesson in the way that you speak to your brother about your image. Uh -huh. You jumping around and celebrating that she's not a prostitute, you should have known that yeah, to begin with. Yeah. No, we, and let me so speak to you. Angela, let me speak to you. That's all I seen, so this was, that was my mistake. I found but you're supposed to be a man. That's your brother. You're a grown man. man. Well, your well, brother needs to stay out of our relationship. I was just expressing how I feel. I was just expressing how I feel. Derek, you get your life. Words don't worry about their life. You get your own. You get your own. so that if D plus mineral based SPF helps to protect your skin this stays up Pikachu Hunter it's midnight you gotta get my work in a little voice in my stomach <laughs> then we need all natural Alberto beef jerk Vitality Lip Flush. Yeah. It's your lipstick, lip gloss, lips.
Sorry for that noise. No, go. Go, that's a close one. Store to purchase. Oh, that was a grass. Alpera, we gotta go off script. Rip to shreds every motel cabin and teepee between here and the wedding. And decided to murder huh? Steve Christensen with a pipe bomb. But Hoffman wanted Christensen's murder to appear to be business related. So he delivered a diversionary bomb to Christensen's former business partner, Gary Sheets. The next morning, Hoffman delivered the primary bomb to Steve Christensen's office building. It was packed with more than a hundred masonry nails, leaving no doubt that its intent was to kill, not injure. And I have to, uh... The jewelry store owner identified Mark Hoffman as the man wearing the letter jacket in the elevator. He was carrying a package addressed to Steve Christensen. Hoffman left the package outside Christensen's <laughs> office door. It was armed with a motion-sensitive mercury switch set to explode when tilted at a 45-degree angle. Have a good day, Steve. Steve Christensen picked up the package when he arrived for work. Mm. Two hours later, Kathy Sheets mm. noticed the package mm. left outside her home addressed to her husband, Gary. 